The title of today's Daily Dose is The Power to Overcome. The Power to Overcome. Look in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19. Jesus declared this to His disciples. He says, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. Now that's incredible. Jesus has given His disciples the power to overcome. Jesus has given the believers amazing authority to overcome all the power, Jesus said, of the enemy. To overcome all the power. But do followers of Jesus understand what they've been given? Do Christians know how to operate in this God-given authority? Let me show you another example of Jesus giving His disciples some serious authority. It's like the fuel of the Great Commission in Matthew 28. It says, And then Jesus came to them, meaning came to His disciples, to His followers, and He said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to Me. Therefore, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Now, did you catch that? Did you catch that? Jesus is telling us that His disciples, meaning us, that we can and will be successful at this massive mission of reaching the world and changing it. Why will we be successful? Because of His authority. His authority that He's conveyed to us. Who are we? We're His missionaries, His ambassadors, His evangelists, and we've been granted His authority to do His will and His mission. Now, I believe that many Christians are failing in their mission, their calling, and in their identity as salt and light in this world. Why? Because they don't understand the authority that they have in Christ to fulfill these roles. I also feel that that so much of the church is really failing also, failing the world because we don't understand authority. We don't operate and pray from this position of authority. Now check it out. One more thing. Jesus Jesus says this, it's recorded in the Gospel of Luke chapter 11, beginning in verse 21. Jesus said that when a strong man, fully armed, guards his own house, his possessions are safe. But when someone stronger attacks and overpowers him, he takes away the armor in which the man trusted and divides up his plunder. Now, why am I sharing this? Check this out. In this passage, Jesus is picturing Satan as a strong man. Being Satan, that strong man who's fully armed and guarding his own house. Satan's guarding his kingdom of darkness. Now, does that sound like anything we're observing and dealing with today in our world? It sure does. Satan has a grip on the world and the power structures of this world, and he's doubling down on it right now in front of our eyes. He's doubling down on it. He's going all in to establish and to protect His evil hold. But check this out. Jesus just said that there is someone stronger than the strong man. Let me say it again. There's someone stronger than the strong man. Jesus is letting us know that when we come in His name, in the name of Jesus, that we're advancing in the authority now of the one who's stronger. And as a result, we break Satan's power. I want to take... (laughs) I want to take a quick moment, though, to mention that Jesus, when He's talking about overcoming the evil one and driving him out, He's not saying that we're going to bind up Satan. And I know that we often use that kind of language because it's found in Matthew 16, 19. Um, We don't actually tie Satan up and keep him from doing any more harm on this earth. We don't do that. However, we do overcome him and we drive him away. And the day is coming when Jesus will tie up Satan. Jesus will do it. It says this in Revelation. It says that He, meaning Jesus, sees the dragon, that ancient serpent, who is the devil or Satan, and Jesus bound him for a thousand years. Revelation 20, verse 2. Come on now, that's good news. But until that day, what are we called to do? We're called to stand. 
to stand against the works of the devil, to expose evil, to overcome it, and to drive it back. Beloved, look, in Christ, we have some serious authority right here and right now. Let's not let Satan mess with us any longer. Let's not let him mess with, with our family any longer. After all, we are the royal priesthood. We're the heirs and co-heirs with Jesus. And we've been given authority that overcomes. We are God's agents on this earth. Just as the Israelites would drive out the Canaanites when they took the land, it is now our role to drive out demons, to push back darkness, to win the lost, to bring God's healing to a hurting world. And we do this in God's authority. And finally, I want to make sure that we remember that to have authority, we must be under authority. We're reminded of this important truth in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 8, beginning in verse 5. Check this out. Scripture says that when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him asking for help. Lord, he said, my, my servant lies at home paralyzed in terrible suffering. Jesus said to him, I'll go and heal him. The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof. But just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority with soldiers under me. I tell this one, go, and he goes. That one, come, and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was astonished and said to those following him, I tell you the truth, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. Before I wrap up, let's make sure we have everything in order here. Number one, God is king. Number two, we rest in Him and in His eternal authority. And number three, because of all of this, we go out and we carry out His will. So again, Jesus said to us, He says, I've given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all all the power of the enemy, nothing will harm you. And so with that, let's go be who we are. Let's say what we know. Let's give what we have. Amen. So hey, if you found this video helpful, I encourage you to subscribe to the Evident Life Church channel right here. Uh, like this video and share it with others. God bless you.